Hey guys, it's Steve, and I'm uh, coming to you guys with a quick tutorial on how to create a Minecraft Attack of the B-Team server on a Mac. Um, this is something I worked uh, a good portion of the day on yesterday, figuring out how to do, and uh, finally figured it out. It's a little bit different than a normal Minecraft server, so um, it's a little bit of a different uh, step to take, but here's how you do it. So um, first, we're going to go to technicpack.net slash attack of the beat team. I'll put a link to this in the uh, description. And you're going to download the server download right here. You'll also need the launcher, um, but you also want to download the server download right here. So both these links need to be downloaded. And then once you have these downloaded, I, uh, I've already downloaded this. I have it right here. You will uh, unzip it. And um, you can just take the contents of this... Uh, of this file here and bring it to your desktop. Uh, here, I already have one. So I'll need to quick change the name of it. That's okay. I'll just uh, put a space there. All right. So put that in your desktop and uh, open the file. And this launch.bat we do not need right now because it is for Windows. And this launch.sh we are going to edit. So uh, open it with text edit. And um, so we have this little bit of code here. Let me close these other things in the background. And uh, we're gonna have to change this code to be uh, friendly with Mac. So um, I'm gonna, I'll give a link to this code too, but this is just off the uh, Minecraft wiki, uh, how to set up a server. And we're gonna copy this portion of code here. And we're gonna paste it in our text edit file. I'll put this code in the description, like I said. So paste it over that, and um, a few things we're going to have to change here. First off, this is the amount of RAM that you want to give your server. Right now it's 1 gig. Uh, you might want to change it to like 2 gigs or something like that. You can also give it just a megabyte by changing this to a megabyte, and that would be like 2 megabytes. Or it has to be capital, but that would be like 2 megabytes. So you can, if you want to give it like 5, 12 megabytes or something, you could do that. But uh, I'm going to go with 2 gigabytes. Now um, we're going to open up our... Uh, our attack the B team server right here, and we need to take this this uh, name here, the B team jar, and replace the Minecraft server jar with that. So we'll do that, and then we will save this, and we'll have to uh, we'll have to change the name of it too to make it a executable um, terminal program. So we're gonna change the whole file name to just start dot command. Excuse me command and we'll say use command all right now we got a quick open up terminal and um, here let me uh, close that old window and we're just gonna uh, type in ch mod space a plus X no plus X space and then we can just ca drag drag our start dot command right there and hit return, and that will make it runnable. Now, normally that would be all you need to do, and you just double click this to launch your server, but the B team has uh, some sort of a problem when I do this. You'll see it runs this, but then it never opens a server file or whatever, and just says process complete. So a workaround for this though, is just double click the B team dot jar, click open, and now you will see, then put the bum, it should, open up this server launcher wrapper and you'll get this whole thing it will show you the memory used blah 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 and this will um, this will jump through the different settings of setting up your server and spawn points and etc so after this uh, finishes I can show you guys what your server IP will be if you're wondering that uh, I'm just gonna leave this to go in the background a little bit and you're, you're here you can see it's going loading properties and default game type blah 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 but um here why don't I just hang on a sec and let this finish warning blah blah blah, blah. I don't think you need to worry about any of these things you see it goes preparing spawn area and this will go all the way up to 100 percent in the meantime you can open up your system preferences because we'll be needing to access um, our IP address but you let this go. Uh, it takes a while the first time, but after after the first time, it should go a lot faster. And it says done. Okay, so now our IP address 
Um, I'm not going to show mine on screen, but yours will be in this place. You just go to your network, and right here where it says IP address, this uh, number here is going to be your IP address. So um, just copy that number that you see next to your IP address, hit Command C, and then you will open up your Attack of the B Team launcher, which I have right here. So um, just launch your launcher. This will sometimes take a little while to launch, so I may uh, do a quick pause and play. But uh, you click play, and um, when you get to your uh, Minecraft screen, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so here at our Minecraft screen, we will just go to... Um, oh, excuse me. Watch it. Okay. We will just go to multiplayer, and you can see I have a server here set up, and this is the one I'm hosting, right, uh, right here. This is the server I'm hosting. So, um, you probably will not see this, though, because I have already hosted this server before, and that's why it knows it is here. But what you're going to do is you're going to go add server, you will type in whatever you want to name it, Minecraft, B-Team, or whatever, and then you're going to paste your IP address right here. So, Command-V, or Control-V, you'll have an IP address here, you will click Done, and then you'll see it will show up as a server that you can access. And if I double click on it, it will be uh, it will be starting a whole new world. So um, and you can see that this world does in fact work because um, hang on one second, da da, I'm here, and that pig's wearing a hat. So it's the attack of the B team mod pack, and you got your books and everything else. So I hope uh, this tutorial was helpful, and you guys learned something. Um, this was kind of difficult for me to figure out, so I hope I saved you guys some time, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye. I think I'll go do some more mining for diamonds, because I love my diamonds, and I want more. Oh, wow! Oh!